What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norn Rad 89 here, and you know what time it is. Rick and Morty, Season 5, Episode 4, finally dropped. I just checked it out. You know we're going to be talking some spoilers today, so if you haven't seen it, go run out and watch it, and then come back and watch this video so we can chat about it. Let's get on to it. Roll it. So Rick and Morty Season 5, Episode 4 starts out with kind of just like a standard day of Morty tagging along with his mom, Beth, at a visit for the horse hospital where she works at. So it's kind of like bring your child to work type day. He seems very disinterested in the job and everything like that. Not until he actually witnesses like a certain machine that they use at the hospital to take semen out of the horses so to inseminate other horses and everything so it's all of a sudden once he sees that machine that's when morty's like oh mom you know what i would like to volunteer for your job so can i can i find out some days to volunteer and everything like that so we know you know morty being a young 14 or 15 year old boy what in his mind he wants to do with this machine <laughs> So cut to two weeks later, and it's, you know, Morty just chilling on top of the house, you know, feeling like a man. You know, he looks like he's chilling, chilling on a robe, just drinking some lemonade, hanging out, you know, enjoying the sun. And then he sees Rick coming up, and he has, like, a big tank, you know, with a picture of a horse on it. <laughs> so this is, like, where we lead into, like, this thing of, you know, Morty being kind of ashamed to really admit to rick what he did and what he's been doing at the horse hospital and all that kind of stuff rick is trying to develop a secret bioweapon to fight this evil race of underground horse people that have been warring with the humans for decades apparently and rick is trying to finally you know create a weapon out of like you know based on like bioweapon based on the horse semen and all that kind of stuff so it's just really funny to see that kind of play between these two characters because Morty's intent is just like, you know, oh, I'm not going to admit this at all. He's like, oh, yo, dude, there's nothing wrong. Like, nothing at all, man. Like, watch, you should be able to do this. And he's like, well, should I have no reason? He's like, you know, you know, measure twice, cut once, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. It's just really funny that I really liked about this episode. It's just that kind of play between Rick and Morty because in this episode, it really plays into, like, Rick trusts Morty and he's like, yo, he always is, like, a straight shooter no matter what. Like, Morty rarely ever lies to Rick. So it's kind of, like, you know, a rare thing for him. Mm -mm. But because Rick decides to do some ungodly things to this vial of semen, it turns into, they basically turn into giant sperm monsters, just ravaging the earth, attacking everybody and all this kind of stuff. And like Morty wakes up and it's like this huge explosion and everything. And it's just like, you know, like that classic war type vibe, you know, ears ringing. And he's like looking around and just people getting torn apart by flying sperm with teeth and they're eating everybody. So it was just really funny to see like, you know what I mean? When you're a kid and like you're a young boy and you start really experimenting and doing like certain things with your body, it's like, oh, it just becomes funny because, yeah, you can be kind of ashamed of it sometimes and feel like down on yourself, but you never think there's like world stakes or world ending stakes. And literally, Morty is in world ending stakes because he decided to pleasure himself with this machine at his mom's hospital. So it's just like really hilarious, like the irony in this episode. And then, of course, the sperm, the giant monster sperm, are attracted to the Grand Canyon, which is, like, for whatever reason, we know why. No, I'm just kidding. So it's got, like, a really funny, it's just a really funny episode because it's, it plays on itself so well, and it knows exactly what it's trying to say, but it does it so outlandishly and so extravagant that it's just a really good episode, and that's why I liked it, you know what I mean? It was the creators of Rick and Morty taking a very simple idea and making it extravagant, turning it into some world stakes type stuff, and it's just oh, drama fueled for sure. And into into that we have the Chuds, who are like this underground race of war that's been warring with the humans of horse people and we finally meet them in this episode and their big problem with them like rick and morty end up getting captured and like the king of the horse people like his main problem with rick is that rick slept with his daughter like such a classic thing that rick would do is like you know he would do something like this and totally forget about it because he thinks the war is about something completely different so it's it's just really hilarious like you know the arrogance and like how selfish he is you know sometimes or you know to like overlook things and like oh man that plays into like now we got the government trying to fight off these monster sperm and all that kind of stuff and we have this weird kind of scientific like you know little guy that they bring in you know that classic dude that's 
in like those doomsday movies or alien movies that scientist that one little nerdy guy that has all the answers no matter what and it's just really funny because summer comes up with the idea first that they're like oh what are sperm attracted to eggs so they create they enlarge a giant egg and like you know her I, that was originally her idea but then of uh, the president ends up giving it to this you know nerdy scientist because he says it a different way and like comes up with it it's just really hilarious how they play on that aspect and then beth like just comes up to summer i really like this line beth puts her arm around summer he's like summer you became a woman today like oh this this episode has such good lines and just those really key moments that really land but come to find out that the government actually ended up using summer's egg and enlarged that egg and like oh man like this this is one of those episodes that has like a lot of implications for future episodes like that end up landing in this episode you know what i mean so we have the sperm coming in and they're warring and fighting rick and morty end up you know creating a treaty with the horse people they end up coming in to help so it's like this big kind of lord of the rings battle all the all the sperm are trying to get to the freaking egg and it's just like oh everybody's fighting and stuff and then all of a sudden we have one sperm that morty ends up making a friend with and it's Sticky. He ends up naming him Sticky because he gets stuck under a rock. And like, oh man, he comes in at the last minute to save the day and distract, or basically destroy the evil sperm queen. And oh man, like then he just jumps into Summer's egg. And it's like just crazy to think that like now, and they shoot it into space, that we have a giant incest Rick and Summer, I mean Morty and Summer baby floating around in space. Add to that, now we have Rick who has a child with the princess from the chuds like you know the horse people so we have a horse half horse half rick running around digging around underground like oh man this episode is one of those ones that it plants the seed like figuratively and literally <laughs> for you know implications for future episodes and that's why i liked it you know this one is jam-packed so this episode episode four is probably going to get another nine it's going to get a nine out of ten for me this one's pretty i'm pretty high off that last episode too being a 10 out of 10 this one's like a nine out of ten for sure like oh it's just really great this third and fourth episodes are just like they're elevating so I can't wait for episode five next week. You know, I'm eager to see it. Hope you guys enjoyed sticking around with me and talking about this episode. Share your comments in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you of what you thought of this episode. Are you enjoying season five so far? And don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. And I'll have a card in the top corner somewhere so you can click on that and you can watch my reviews for the previous episodes that have already come out. Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.